next thing that we have to discuss is the collection and transport of the waste material so how to do the collection and transport of the waste material so there are multiple methods for that so here in this slide we will discuss all them so the transport of the waste is again categorized based on two different categories the very first category here is collection based on the variability so from which particular site you are collecting the waste according to that variability the collections are divided in multiple categories for example communal system so in the communal system suppose you are uh you are getting the waste from a particular society or particular community all together from a particular area all together so that is a kind of communal system where you are getting the waste or collecting the waste from a huge area from huge society so that is communal system then we have block collection so block wise suppose you are collection multiple blocks are created maybe in an area and according to that you are collecting the waste and you are managing those waste material that is the block collection then curb side collection curb side means road side or that any area where all the peoples are just dumping the waste from that curb side you are just collecting the waste so that is the curb side collection and the best option among all these collection methods that is in the fourth category that is nowadays very popular as well especially in the cities so where the door to door collection is takes place so in the door to door collection the waste material are collected from each houses door and that is taken away to the disposal site maybe management site so that is the door to door collection so this is the first type of the categorization of the collection the second type of collect, uh, collection categorization is basis on the mode of operation so mode of operation again how you are doing the collection of the system so the very first system here is the hauled container system so in the hauled container system what you will do there would be one collection container here this collection container is placed in a particular place the people will come and the people will uh, just decompose the waste material here in this particular truck or in this particular station and then a truck will come this will take this disposal and the full material of the wastage with the container to the management site and then again the container that truck will come back taking the empty container and that empty container is placed here then again the people will fill the wastage here and that process will continue for the further but here you can see for few amount of time the container is not present here in this particular site so this is called as the hauled container system in hauled container system you will use one container you will uh, just collect the wastage from that container you will come back with the filled container and again place the empty container on the site so that is the kind of hauled container system then we have another type of system that is the stationary container system so here in the stationary container system what you will do the people will place the dump here what you will do you will take the fully filled container to the site and you will bring a empty container with you and when you are taking this fully filled container from here from this place you will place the empty container here and then you will take the filled container so this is called as a stationary containers so here you can see always in this particular site one container is available whether it is filled whether it is empty so by that way by picking up multiple filled containers the the uh, wastage are collected from area to area so this is the collection and transport transport of the waste according to the stationary container system here the container is stationary it is not fixed it is fixed actually but container is moving but always you will have a particular container on that particular site so that is stationary container system so these two are the different types of collection systems on the basis of mode of operation so i hope it is clear to you the next thing that we have to discuss is the hazardous waste treatment methods what are the treatment methods how you can treat treat the different hazardous waste material so again the materials or the treatment methods are divided in categories here the first category here that we have to discuss is the physical treatment 
so how you can physically remove the contaminants from that particular waste material so the very first physical treatment method is the sedimentation so sedimentation as in the name you can see we have already see sedimentation in the water treatment plant in the water pollution chapter so what you have to do you have to just put that all waste for a particular time period and all the solid particles will go down come down to that particular waste site so the simplest physical treatment system that separates solid from liquid so all the liquid would be dissolved there and all the solid material would be sedimented there it takes advantage of the gravity settling and the natural flotation a special sedimentation tanks and clarification tanks are used here in the sedimentation tank sediments are removed in the clarification tanks again the after removal of the sediments in the clarification tanks only liquid is sent these are designed to encourage solid to self settle so solid can be collected as a sludge from the bottom of that particular tank this is the method of sedimentation which is simplest physical treatment among all the method after sedimentation adsorption can be done so one of the most common method or technique for removing organic material from the waste in which organic materials are attracted to the surface of solid this solid can be what this solid can be granular activated carbon which is also called as gac the most common adsorption method that is used is porous matrix of granular activated carbon which has enormous surface area to absorb all the organic material present in the water so maybe you have seen or not i don't know if you remove the older filter systems the filter systems have the older kent or that which is the filter system just uh, just giving pure water based on the gravity of water so in the upper container you have to fill the water all that water will go through a filter system and that filter system after we have a, another lower container in which water is filled and from that lower container you can get the fresh water so that middle filter system is generally composed of the activated carbon if you just break it you can see that there is a black material lots of black material present inside that so that is what that is activated charcoal or activated carbon which is very very highly reactive with the organic material so it will adsorb adsorb means there is a two two terms there one is absorb another one is adsorb so absorb means on that material the other material is totally get soaked then we have adsorb so this is our granular activated carbon here gac so the outer material will come to the surface and attach to it so this is the process of adsorption so that kind of adsorption is taking place in the surface of this granular activated carbon in which all the organic materials are deposited so this is the another physical treatment method that you can use in the case of hazardous waste treatment so i hope it is clear to you then we have another treatment method that is the aeration so in aeration a good amount of air you have to provide so this will take multiple amounts of contaminants with it to the surface here you can see all the things would be come to the surface because of the continuous aeration here for the chemicals that are relatively volatile in nature those all would be reacting with this particular air and going away to the surface of the water and that can be used to remove the contaminants out of the solution so this mixed liquid will go to the clarifier again and this would be taking the effluent and here wastage is coming out and that wastage is again returned to that particular first chamber so that kind of aeration is done here contaminated water is sprayed downward through packing material in a tower while air is blown upward so water is coming down and air is going up so this is taking away all the volatile content present in the water such a packing tower can easily remove over 95% of the vocs volatile organic compounds such as trichloroethylene benzene toluene that all we have seen i have already told you that vocs to remember the voc remember the word btex so that is benzene toluene ethylene xylene and another one you can learn here that is the trichloroethylene that is another type of voc so by combining air stripping with gac the granular activated carbon that we have seen in the previous slide 
many volatile and non volatile compounds including the organic compounds can be removed only by these two methods by using gfe absorption method and the aeration method so these two are the good good combination of the physical treatment of water methods so i hope this is clear to you another very common physical treatment is the reverse osmosis so that is also called as ro so multiple uh, water purifying companies use these reverse osmosis method nowadays so reverse osmosis device uses pressure to force contaminated water against a semi permeable membrane so here two sections would be made these two sections are just keep away kept away with the help of a semi permeable membrane semi permeable means only the solvent particles can move from both side the solute particles which are dissolved in that particular water cannot cross it so here this membrane act as a filter allowing the water only passes through the pores but restrict the passage of the large molecules such as the multiple elements multiple microorganisms these are just stopped at one by side and in another side you will get only the fresh water and here water is forced to pass to this particular site so fresh water you will get from this particular site so this is the case of reverse osmosis then another one method that is the physical treatment that is the ion exchange that we have to discuss so ion exchange is a process where ions are removed from the waste stream by the exchange process with help of another ion so water softening or water softening plants so water softening is a term used to just soft the water because water is supposed hard hard means it is having calcium in it it is having magnesium ions in it suppose you want to remove it so softening materials you have to use suppose you can add some negative ions here so suppose the chlorine ion you are attaching maybe carbonate ion no not carbonate ion sulfate ion you are attaching so that will easily react with the calcium and magnesium and take away from it or away from the water and that with the help of that softening material you can just exchange the ions the carbonate is replaced by chlorine sulfate here and now you will get a soft water so that's why this is the called as water softening or water softening treatment plants so in water softening plants calcium magnesium are replaced with the sodium ions another thing you can do you can remove these calcium ions magnesium ions with another ion that is sodium ion and once it is removed so now that water is not hard now and this ion exchange is often used to remove the toxic metals present in the solution as well so ion exchange is predominantly used on these things so i hope this physical treatment method is clear to you